Hi everyone, what's up? Smell here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Yes Style fashion haul video for you guys and I'm really excited because it's been a long time since I last did a styling video. Hope you guys enjoy and if you're interested, you can use my code MELSTORY5 for a discount at checkout. Alright, let's get started. Number one, starting with tops. You guys know I love my turtleneck, so I actually only got two tops. One white turtleneck and one almond turtleneck. The last white turtleneck I got was from Shein, but there's a lot of lint on it now because I've worn it many times, so that's why I decided to get a new one. I chose the almond color because I feel like neutrals go well with anything and it's super easy to layer. The material for this turtleneck is really soft and comfortable and I really like how it hugs my body nicely. The only thing is I feel like the sleeves are a bit short, but I guess it's okay because it shows my watch and bracelet. If it was too long, it would just cover it, so I guess it's not that bad. For jackets, I got this black oversized crop denim jacket that I thought was super cute when I saw it on the model. I actually had this in my cart over a year ago, but I couldn't justify myself buying it until now. I really love how it gives a very casual but cool vibe. I am a little disappointed though because when I compare the picture online to what I actually got, the material looks completely different. Like the one online has a very jean denim look, but then the one I have is just pure blackness. The material is a bit thinner than I expected as well, but overall I think it fits well on me and I still like it. These are called fleece line tights and it's such a smart idea. So on the inside, it's very warm and comfortable, but on the outside, it looks like you're just wearing a normal pair of sheer tights. When I found out about this, I was mind blown and it made me so excited to pair different outfits in the winter time where I can still look stylish and be warm at the same time. The only thing is these tights are a bit on the shorter side, like I'm around 5'3 in height and I felt like it was a little difficult to get the tights all the way to the top. So if you're taller than 5'3, I wouldn't recommend these specific tights from YesStyle, but you can definitely look into alternative options. After I learned more about tights and how you can style them and they also keep you warm, I decided to buy two pairs of sheer leggings, one in black and one in a nude color. I accidentally ripped these tights though when I was trying to put them on because my nails were super sharp. Uh, but I do want to say that I did enjoy the look of the nude tights because I feel like it gives your legs a very refined, smooth finish. Like if you have any bruises or random scabs or, you know what I mean, it just makes your leg look clean. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the best way to describe it, but I would definitely order another pair of nude leggings in the future. For the longest time, I never thought about hair claws as an accessory that you could dress up in. Like I would only think about the basic black one that I thought people only wore when they showered or felt lazy. It wasn't until I came across this on YesStyle that I was like, oh wait, this is super cute. And I started searching on Pinterest how to style them. There are four different designs to choose from and I decided to go with the cross strap because I find it really simple and elegant. I normally don't wear bracelets because my wrists are very tiny, so it's really difficult for me to find ones that fit well, but when I came across this design, I immediately fell in love. Just something about the rabbit, the carrot, that one jewel, and how everything came together in a very minimalistic but meaningful design. 2023 is also the year of the rabbit, so I thought it was perfect. I admit, it took me a long time to put on this bracelet though, but over time, I think it gets better with the practice. Alright, moving on to earrings, I got three different designs. The first one is a small twisted golden hoop and I really love how simple it is. I feel like it goes well with anything and with that gold color, it just adds a pop of classiness. The second pair is a sterling silver threaded pearl design. I really love how unique it is and originally I thought you could adjust it based on the height you want, but I just went back to look on the site and apparently you're supposed to thread it all the way through. It's been over a month since I ordered these products, so when it actually arrived, I didn't think too much about it. For the third pair of earrings, I derped here as well because I completely forgot that on the bottom of one of the strands, it has the earring backing. I was confused, wondering where it was, but this is how it's supposed to actually look like. These fake clip-on bangs are the one product that I was super excited about trying on and showing you guys. It literally changes everything. I feel like most people are scared to get bangs because they're not sure how it looks like or it's a lot of work to maintain, but this is the perfect solution. 
On your style, you can choose between black or dark brown and with sideburns or no sideburns. I went with the black with sideburns because my natural hair color is black and I also like how the longer pieces frame my face. Once I put on the bangs, I was so surprised with how natural it looked and it really made me miss the look of bangs. With bangs, I automatically feel younger, cuter, and more Asian. For these clip-on bangs, they're super easy to put on. You just clip it at the top and you can adjust the height of your bangs depending on where you want it. I usually like it just slightly below the eyebrows. Every time I watch K-dramas and I see people with see-through bangs, I'm always thinking, oh my gosh, that looks so good and I want that. But every time I cut it myself or I go to a salon, it just doesn't look the same. With these, I feel like they're perfect, but the only thing is my hair isn't fully black, so it's not a seamless transition. I feel like I'm constantly battling between, hmm, what color should I dye my hair next? Or should I just go back to black and keep it natural and healthy? What do you guys think? Up next, we have these glossy red pink press on nails. This is a really great affordable option if you're looking to style your nails, but you don't want to spend a lot of money. I started wearing press on nails last year because it gets really expensive if you actually do your nails and it also damages your nails too if you do it too often. So wearing press on nails is literally the best option, but the only downside is that it doesn't last as long. All right, moving on to our last section, which is skincare. You guys know I've been trying to learn a lot about this, especially in the past year. So I want to get a cute headband that I could wear when I do my skincare routine. I really love the green bean sprout design on top because it looks like a seedling and it just reminds me that we have to constantly water ourselves in order to grow, aka practice self-love and self-care. The last product is a propolis skincare set that comes with a sleeping mask and serum. The sleeping mask is great for rejuvenating tired looking skin and it also includes ingredients to help brighten your skin tone and improve the appearance of wrinkles. The serum has similar benefits where it helps to calm and vitalize your skin while also brightening your skin tone and improving the appearance of wrinkles. Alright guys, that's a wrap on my YesStyle fashion haul video. I hope you had fun watching and if you're interested in any of the products or shopping at YesStyle at all, you can use my code MELSTORY5 for a discount at checkout. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! filming my yes style haul it took me around two hours to film everything now i'm going to import the footage and edit